G'day guys, today I'm going to show you how to butterfly a lamb. One of my recipes includes this uh, and hopefully you can learn a lot from it. So I've got my lamb, uh, beautiful produce, you can't beat lamb pretty much in my opinion. First thing I'm going to do, just going to remove the shank. You can do a lot with that today, we're not going to use it at all really. Looking down at my lamb, I'm going to use the bone here as the guide. Okay, so I'm just going to run my blade on the inside of that I'm going to use that trail all the way through. But before I do that, I'm just going to remove a little bit of excess sinew. Depends what your cooking style is going to be. Um, with this one, because it is going to be butterfly, you know, not a lot of the fat will render down as quickly compared to something, or as well as compared to something like a, a slow cook effort. So, you know, I'm going to try and take off as much extra sinew as possible. Okay, so as I said, I'm just going to follow my blade along the inside of that bone. Feeling my way, use your fingers, don't be afraid to get nice and dirty. It's one of those things that you'll find yourself really testing, you know, how much you are, are willing to really get involved because you use a bit of strength towards the uh, middle section. So as you can see, I'm just working my way down to the bone, just use simple strokes. With the blade, particularly if it's sharp and you should be using a sharp knife, it will come out nice and easy. So there you go, you can see I've cut open right there, already your first incision. Okay, so I'm just going to feel my way around here. You can already feel a bit of a, what's essentially the, the joint at the knee here. Just keep working in with your hands. As you can see that it's opening up. Beautiful. And see, so once you get to the end, and see that got that open. Cool. So again, you start to use that force. Yeah, I got this. I got this. First go. Yes, opened up. So you've got two sides of the bone just here, and you can keep continue work your way around. You also come across a few glands, which can get real bitter if you leave them in, plus they're chewy, so you want to get rid of them. As you can see, we worked our way right down to the bone uh, on both sides. What I'm now going to try and do is just get underneath, uh, and that way essentially get a nice leverage between the meat and the bone itself. So I'm just using my knife, getting nicely involved. Be careful, using your hands obviously, in the way. So you get my knife straight underneath that, which is a good sign, because now I can use a bit more force and leverage from the knife. You can see the bone is actually starting to move a bit more as it gets away. So I'm just going to go and carve out this, this part here. Just, you can see that's the gland I was telling you about. So you've got to remove that. That's important. Because if you, if, you, if you took a bite straight into that, you won't be happy. Cool. Again, just working away on both sides. You can get right underneath now. Simple stroke, like that, simple, push through. And then, as I said, now you can use more force being underneath. You work way up. Again, just carving out that bone, just running your, your blade along the side of it, first part away, and then simply start to use more force again with your with the strength you've got. If it's struggling, you know, use your knife. You don't want to tear away excess meat, but it should come away as you get more into that incision. Boom. Away. So you got the last bit in here, alright? And again, you're just running your blade along the inside. There we go. Last bit of meat. So now we've got our lamb leg, as such. Alright, it's almost butterflied. Always check for your, your glands. See like this part here? If you're going to bite into that, it used to be too intense. If I cut straight into it, you can see it's quite a bit of fat there. And it's not going to break down quickly. So you've got to remove that. Okay. Last piece to do is just butterfly this last bit out here. Now if you think of a lamb leg itself, the way it sits, 
in the human body as well, you got your four muscles around your leg, your quad. So the last part of your quad just here. So we're just going to make a simple insertion like that, fold it out. Now you can make more incisions if you want. You can be a bit more pedantic about your sinew, but at the end of the day, that's going to be on the barbecue. You're going to let it marinate, a bit of salt, and uh, you know this is going to cook much quicker. You know something you can do in about 25 minutes if you're in a hurry. So all you have to do is break it down. You can buy it boneless, but at the end of the day, it's a bit of fun getting nice and dirty. Uh, this is going to go onto a marinade and go straight into the barbecue. Happy days. Done.